guys, today I'm going to be talking about qipaos, which are a more modern kind of Chinese dress. They became really popular in Shanghai, I think during the 1920s. Anyway, um, if you haven't seen my last video about qipaos, be sure to check that out. I wore one to my high school prom, which is super fun. And anyway, today's video is actually a collaboration with East Meets Dress, which is a dress company that makes really, really lovely teapots. And I actually, when I first bought my prom dress, I did not know the company at all. I found them on like Etsy and I took a gamble. Um, there weren't that many reviews about the dresses yet, so I kind of just like went with it. And thankfully, everything turned out so great. Um, the dress, I got the Maryland dress and it's so beautiful. I think it's one of their most popular styles. And yeah, I really fell in love with it. And when I posted that prom video, a lot of people commented on my video and said they really liked the dress, they wanted to see where I got the dress, they wanted to hear more about dresses, and that's why I made today's video. Um, again, this is a collab with the company, um, and I'm showcasing four different styles here. I wanted to collaborate with a company that had such a beautiful mission of helping Asian Americans feel more comfortable showing their culture in really beautiful dresses. I just really think the founders are nice people as well. Um, when I first got my prom dressed, it, this was in 2019. Yeah, May 2019. Um, as I said, I didn't know anything about the company. I just like randomly bought a dress and uh, the co-founder, Jen, she's such a sweet person. Um, she emailed me, made sure I was comfortable with the with everything that was going on, the whole process. She kept me updated. Um, I gave her my measurements. They're very uh, caring about their customers. And that's why I actually reached out to the company and I said, hey, I really want to do a video with you guys. I'm hoping that with this video, I can encourage more people to wear Tipaos for their prom or for like formals, those types of occasions. I think these dresses are relatively affordable. I mean, yeah, like any prom dress is gonna be expensive, but I think um, due to the care and the craftsmanship that goes into these dresses, like I think that's, I think the prices are really great um, because a lot of these dresses you can actually custom make. Custom making any dress is super, super expensive already. And like, these dresses are so unique that I think it's well worth the money. Oh, and I actually have a coupon code in the description box. If you use my code, you get $25 off any dress. Okay, now my favorite dress by far is the Emma dress. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs> um, I really love the like lace detailing all throughout the dress. Like the whole fabric is like basically lace. So it looks really elegant and I think it looks really like romantic. Also the mermaid style and the train really add to the like, like dramatic factor. <laughs> yeah, I think if you want to stand out, definitely go for the Emma because it's also made of a really stretchy fabric. So it stretches to your body and like hugs everything. So if you want to show off your body, Go for it, girl, because the Emma will really do that for you. This is the OG dress. This is the exact one I wore to prom. Oh my god, the Maryland dress is literally so beautiful. I think what's really unique about it is like the really nicely embroidered side. Um, there's like florals um, and like vines. <laughs> and this company uses really thick, heavy material. The Maryland dress, the fabric is stretchy, so it fits really well. Um, but it's still really thick and it doesn't show like any lines if you're wearing like certain underwear. Oh, and one thing about all these dresses is I'm pretty sure all of their dresses have padding on the inside. Um, so that's really nice. You don't have to worry about like wearing um, a certain bra with it if you don't have a strapless bra. So they got that taken care of. <laughs> 
This dress is just so flattering on like a lot of people and it makes sense why this is one of their most popular styles. A lot of people buy this dress. Um, I think it's just perfect for prom because you can really stand out with all the like beautiful detailing and the wine red color. Okay, the Amelia dress is really cute. I think this one is less Tipao like. Yeah, I would say this looks way more like a ball gown that's like really princess like and really big and poofy. Um, the top is obviously fitted, but I think the bottom is really pretty to like twirl in because there's so much fabric. I also really like the um, lace detailing on the front. It's like sheer halfway on the front. Um, all these dresses are pretty modest um, because they don't show too much. So the Amal is a mermaid style dress that also has a train. Um, this one is a little bit looser fitting. Um, it's not meant to be super tight fitting anyway. So if you prefer like a looser fit so that you can like hide your food belly, <laughs> this is totally the way to go. It has a really nice like embroidery design on the front. They're kind of like, what do they like appliques? <laughs> I don't really know. Um, but I think it really adds like a really nice flair. Um, this is in a really, the one I wore is in a really, really bright red color. Red is like a lucky Chinese color, which is why like all these dresses are red. Um, but this dress does come in other colors on the website. Oh, and one thing uh, about East Meets Dress is that, like I said, they really care about the customers and giving the customers what they want. So you can actually buy dresses in their bespoke collection, which basically means you like get to design the dress like from day one. Like they have a basic template and then you can add on like whether you want cap sleeves or like longer sleeves, if you want a sheer back, if you want a train or not a train. So you can really customize it, which I think is great. Like there are some times where I look at a dress and I'm like, I like the idea, but I want to change this or I want to change that. So I think that's a really great option. Not many companies do that. Um, and yes, it is more expensive because of all the customizations. So if you have the extra cash to spare, I highly recommend getting it like customized to your taste. Okay, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you will consider buying a Tipao to wear to your prom or to your wedding <laughs> or to formals. And honestly, I'll say it, you don't have to be Chinese. I think that if you are being respectful of the culture, um, personally, I don't see it as a problem. Maybe not everyone believes that, so definitely check with the people you're around. But personally, if I saw someone wearing a teapot and they weren't Chinese, I wouldn't really be upset. I'd be like, aw, that's so cute. Thank you. Oh yeah, and one more thing. I think it's sad that I feel like I have to mention this, but I think I have to talk about the virus. Um, <laughs> a lot of things are happening, um, and sadly, there I have noticed more racism towards Chinese people due to uh, the current public health crisis due to the virus and I understand that people are like wary about like showing that they're Chinese or whatever but I think in a time like this it means even more that uh, we stand united with um, Chinese people, Asian Americans in general. I think it shows a lot of your character if you can still stay if you can still stay true to your cultural background, um, if you're not letting the haters get in the way. And also, this is a reminder for everyone to be respectful. Um, 
you know, as a Chinese American myself, even I am subject to um, implicit bias and like certain types of like subtle racism. Like I'm not immune to it either. So it's important to really take a look at what you're doing, what you're saying to people, and that you're still being really kind to everyone. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of a serious note to end on, but I think it had to be said. Anyway, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and bye! <laughs>